Hey, hey, it's Asia here from The Fluffy Hustle, and I am going to be reviewing today five mistakes to avoid when purchasing wholesale. I really wanted to do this because this is these mistakes are the ones that I see that people make all the time, and it costs them a lot, a lot of money. They spend their hard-earned money that they've saved up to purchase pieces wholesale only to receive them in the mail and be extremely disappointed. So I don't want you guys to get got. I don't want you to make these mistakes. So let's jump right on into it. So number one, um, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. This is that whole reality versus expectation coming into play. So one of the main wholesale sites that people always ask me about is Lovely Wholesale. Simply because if you were to Google cheap wholesale clothes, they are literally the first wholesale website that come up when you do a Google search, okay? They're the first ones to come up, all right? So this is a lovely wholesale. I am on their website, okay? And um, this is what I'm talking about. So this outfit, they're offering it for $16.99 what websites like lovely wholesale dh gate romwe rose gal aliexpress china brands all these like chinese based websites that are are wholesale like wholesale 7 all these websites they steal pictures from us based um boutiques and then they post them on their website and they make you think that you're going to be getting the same product. So here's some things that I'm seeing here. Now, first of all, when you see people cropping out people's faces, like that's a telltale sign that that is not their product. And um, there's that it's a sto stolen picture. Now, one thing I would say to look out for this body this person's body that you're seeing is very popular. They love to go to her website, into her Instagram, and steal her photos all of the time. This is Posh by B, okay? So here's the picture that Lovely Wholesale is saying that they have. They have this blue, they're saying. They say they have this neon green, and they say they have this red. Now, first of all, I can tell that the colors have been photoshopped. And that's another thing that a lot of these Chinese sellers do is that they will photoshop the color of the product on the picture. And they'll make it a lot more bold, a lot more bright than what it actually is. So let me take you directly to Posh by V's website. This is Posh by V's site, okay? This is the real person. This is the real photo, and this is the real product, okay? She, um, clearly, that blue is drastically different. So it's very, very clear that they photoshopped that blue. They changed the blue, right, to make it look like that. So the, the real product, and I guarantee you she did not buy her product from Lovely Wholesale. I know that for a fact because I know the manufacturer where she gets her products from and it darn sure is not lo lovely wholesale and it certainly was not for $16.99, okay? So these are the type of things that I want you guys to look out for because I guarantee you the product that you receive is not going to be the quality of product that Posh by V is offering. So what happens is a lot of people like try to emulate a posh by V and then they get these these like horrible product uh, from these websites and when they try to sell them to people people are not satisfied They're like this is cheap it's flimsy this is not the same thing this is not what you're showing in the pictures and things like that so don't get caught up like that don't get caught up like that and here here's the thing I'm gonna show show you guys right now I just want to go through some of her products just so you can see just how much they steal from her because I see her picture, her body all the time with her head cropped off on all of these websites all of the time. And it, it, it ticks me off for her. Like she's getting her money, so she probably doesn't care. But it, it really is dishonest for them to represent themselves as if they have this particular product and then they make their customers believe that they're going to get this product. 
she is not getting cheapy stuff made. She sells a, a high quantity of product. So she's getting stuff made. Um, and so that's why she's able to sometimes like offer things at a lower price. But dude, come on. They really rip off her pictures all the time. So now you guys know if you see this body, if you see this background, and you see the face chopped off of it, it's Posh by V. The picture is stolen. And nine times out of 10, probably 99.9999 times out of 10, the people who are selling it, right? Here's that outfit again. The people who are selling it clearly, look at that, clearly looks vastly different than what they have it and, and what they're showing, right? Because it was a different pose she had. It was a different angle on here. See, they just Photoshopped that picture, but this is a different angle than the blue one. But anyway, like, so I hope you guys kind of get that point. The reason why I'm such an advocate for going directly to US based wholesale companies is because you don't see this kind of mess going on on the wholesale malls. You just don't see it. It doesn't happen. Why? Because they're actually making the actual clothes and they have their own um, models that they use for the products. Okay. So they don't need to steal. They don't need to steal because they use American models to model their clothing. So, um, they don't have to do that. So let me go back to lovely wholesale. I want to actually go home and, um, to their home because there were some other things that I noticed. For example, this particular model here. Okay. She is a model for a wholesale company. So this is actually a stock photo from a wholesale company here in the United States. Okay. And, um, I know the manufacturer. I worked directly with the manufacturer before I've, I've purchased from them. They are based in Los Angeles and they have a factory in Los Angeles. They do, their products are made in the United States. I know for a fact that this dress, you could not buy from them for $12.99. This manufacturer don't have nothing for $12.99. Straight up, most of their stuff is $17, $18, $20 plus, especially if it's plus size stuff, you're talking like $22 to $25 per a piece at wholesale. So can you imagine what you would be getting, what crap you would be getting if you paid $12.99 for this product thinking this is what you're going to get. This is not, you would not get this product because this product is not made in China. It's made by someone right here in the United States in Los Angeles. Okay. So you're going to get a subpar product. Okay. So just wanted to, to like really drive that home is that a lot of these websites, you're not getting what they're showing you. They're showing you an example and then they try to send you a replica. So that's why a lot of people end up so disappointed, so hurt. A lot of women who are in my group before, before they um, got access to the vendors that I have, they, you know, they purchased from some of these sites and they were so disappointed. They were like, oh, I ordered this stuff like three or four weeks ago and now I'm just getting it and I'm so disappointed. I had people like excited to get this stuff, but I can't sell, sell this to people. This is horrible. So I don't want you to be stuck out like that. So next, let's talk about avoid the other middleman. So if they aren't a manufacturer or distributor, you're paying too much. So what I mean is like there is this thing on Facebook. If you look through Facebook groups, if you just search for like vendors, there are a ton of Facebook groups for people selling vendors. And so um, people are selling different vendors and stuff like that. But also what I see people doing is purchasing from other people at quote unquote wholesale. Really what they're doing is they're buying from somebody who they might have their own boutique. They know where to actually go get the clothes wholesale. So they'll buy some pieces and say, hey, I have these products. Well, you're getting it from them and they're marking it up. So you have another middleman in between the middleman. See, in this, whole, in this whole game, you either have your manufacturer, then you have your wholesalers or your distributors, and then 
from them, you can go directly to the re retailer, which would be you, the boutique owner, right? When you start dealing with the wholesale malls, the wholesale malls actually will let you know um, on the vendor profile whether or not they're a manufacturer or if they're a wholesaler because it'll let you know like, okay, this is factory direct. So I'm probably getting the best price I possibly can. And it's really cool because then you can reach out to the manufacturer and say, hey, I'm interested in getting my own pieces created and all that kind of stuff. And that's something you could do later on down the line. But you know the difference between if you're dealing with the manufacturer or if you're dealing with uh, just a distributor. OK, so when you're dealing with a distributor, they are a middleman. Why? Because they're not making the product. They go to the manufacturer and they order things in bulk. They might order, you know, 500 of one piece. You know what I'm saying? They might make a big order and they might get a thousand of one piece from the man manufacturer. Therefore, the manufacturer is going to give them a really good rate because they're buying things in bulk from them. The wholesaler then breaks that down into packs that they turn around and they sell to you. Well, these people on these vendor groups, they're not buying from the manufacturer. They're not buying 500, 1,000, 1,500 pieces from the ma manufacturer. They're just buying the product <laughs> uh, from a distributor or from the manufacturer on the wholesale sites, which means they're not getting the best price and they're turning around and they're tacking on five, six dollars to every piece and they're selling them to you, which means that's cutting into your bottom line. That's cutting into your pro profitability and you're going to have to sell your products at a higher rate. So I would not suggest purchasing wholesale from people in these vendor groups. OK, especially if they have like one or two packs or something. Now, if there's someone who they have a deal with the manufacturer to where like they do buy in bulk. There are some people who like, that's what they do. They're like, okay, I'm going to be buying, you know, 300 of this dress and I'm taking pre-orders from people who want it. Those are the people I would say to work with because they're probably getting it directly from the factory and they have a deal worked out to where they're buying in bulk. But if you're dealing with somebody who just has a few of a certain product on hand, you're paying way, way, way too much for a product. Um, and it's much better for you to go directly to the source as opposed to dealing with these extra middlemen. OK, so avoid doing that. All right. So shipping ain't easy. All right. So let me go back to our lovely website, lovely wholesale, and I'm going to walk you guys through a process here with them. So I'm going to go to the cart. Okay. So in my cart, I have 10 of these wholesale sweaters. They're $11.99. It comes up to $119.90 total for these, um, for these sweaters, right? So let's look at the shipping rate. So um, to get shipping from them, their flat rate shipping is $36.89. And it's going to take 10 to 20 working days for you to get your product. That's two to four weeks for you to get your product. So now let's also see what happens to this same exact product. It was $119.90 for 10 pieces. Now let's add that shipping cost, right? Of $36.89 to that. So $119.90 plus $36.89. Hold on, I tapped something wrong in my calculator. It comes up to $156.79. You divide that by 10, which is the number of pieces I have. That means the pieces actually came up to $15 and 67 cents a piece. And you're going to wait two to four weeks to get them at the cheapest shipping rate. Now, if you want your product in a decent time, you want your product in a decent time, right? Uh, in two, two to basically, this is two to uh, 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 a week and a day, right? Two, two days to like nine days or something like that, or eight days, right? So in two to eight days, you should have your product um, 
paying $53.69. So we'll do the $53.69 plus that $119.90 comes up to $173.59. We divide that by 10 and the pieces will come up to $17.35 a piece. Now, my calculation that I always tell people to use so that they can remain profitable when selling wholesale is to mark things up three times. So you'd had have to charge at full price, $52.07 on my website. Now, um, I don't know about you, but let, let, let me go back here. Um, this, this is not worth $52. This is not a $52 sweater. And it's especially not a $52 sweater because I know doggone well that this is not the actual sweater I'm going to get. I already know that they stole this picture. So I know that the quality of, of, of the product that I'm going to receive is not going to be good. So is it worth it for me to buy this sweater at $17 um, per piece? Am I losing money? That is the problem when you're purchasing from these websites. You're not really getting a deal when you go here. So yeah, you don't have to get a seller's permit. No, they don't have minimums but you're paying for that. This is really just a glorified, regular, schmegler website. You, This might as well be Wish. This might as well just be, you know, Amazon in China. That's the way I look at this. This is not truly wholesale pricing. Quite frankly, it's just not. This is, this is not wholesale pricing. You're not getting the benefits of wholesale pricing. You're not getting a quality product um, and you're not getting it in a timely fashion. And you have to pay out the wazoo for you to actually get your product in a reasonable amount of time versus when you purchase wholesale from retailers here in the United States, you can have your stuff in as little as two to five days and you're going to have a higher quality product. OK, so in, you're going to have a product that that fits and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to show you the math on that because it's literally it's not worth it. OK, if that this shipping, these shipping rates, it, it makes it not worth it. Yeah, and a, a twelve dollar sweater makes sense, but a seventeen dollar sweater does not make sense, especially again, now that you know that the product is prop like the product you're going to receive is not going to be the product that is in the picture. Okay. So that's, that's shipping. So we don't want to deal with that. Okay. Google won't get you what you need. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go back to this website and I'm going to go to good old Google. Um, and so when you, this is like the most common thing I know people search for, right? So, Google, when I say Google won't get you what you need, is that a lot of the wholesale sites that I deal with and stuff like that, you cannot easily find them on Google. You can you can dig, you can find them, you can find the wholesale malls, but it's not the first thing that's going to pop up. What you're going to see are Dress Head, Chinese site, Lovely Wholesale, Chinese site, Clothing Under 10, I don't know about this site. I don't know where they're based at. Rose Wholesale, Chinese site. Wholesale 7, Chinese site. Now, Amy Clubwear, I rock with them. They're actually legit. Like, they're, they're a good site. So, um, but they're not the typical wholesale site, right? But they have stuff that is so damn cheap on here that it pretty much might as well be wholesale. Um, their clothes are, like, super, 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 super cheap. So, I would absolutely rock with it. Amy club wear, um, because you don't have to buy in bulk. So if anything, um, I've shopped with Amy club wear for well over 10 years and they're super legit. So, um, I'd rather you guys go here because Amy club wear is based in LA. And so their products that they're getting are from LA and they do so much, like they sell so, so high of a quantity. They get really, really, really great rates on their products and they're able to offer you products super dumb cheap. So, um, Amy Clubwear is somewhere that you can purchase from that, um, I would suggest that you can use. I definitely use them when I wanted to offer shoes, but I didn't want to have to buy like whole packs of shoes. 
I sold to plus size women and on, on average plus size women wear like, like nines, tens, 11 feet tend to be a little, you know, a little bit bigger than the average. So there was no need for me to buy a pack of shoes and it was going to cost, you know what I'm saying? And I was going to be stuck with all these sixes and sevens and eights that a lot of women who I cater to their, they, they wouldn't fit. So these shoes would just be sitting around. So I would go to Amy Clubwear and buy up their larger sizes. Um, it's, it's a, let me not get into that, but let me just say Amy Clubwear is a good, good website. I might actually just do a video about them later and how, how you can use them to, um, kind of get product. Um, I don't know about girl, Mary, never heard of them. DH gate is a chi Chinese site, ch uh, trends gal, Chinese site, China brands, Chinese site. So the bulk of what comes up when you are searching for cheaper, like wholesale clothing and stuff like that, are all of these dear lover chi Chinese sites. You're getting all of these Chinese sites, right? And they all do the same thing. And they all falsely represent the products that they actually have in hand. Um, and so I don't want y'all to get caught out like that. So that's why I'm saying like Google is not going to give you what you need. I would rather you guys have a guide that includes all the wholesale companies that you would probably ever need access to, um, in order for you to start your boutique that are based here in the United States. And then especially when you get onto the, the wholesale malls, the wholesale malls, um, pretty much there are reviews on there from other boutique owners of the vendors. The vendors cannot change their reviews. They can't make somebody give them a good review. These are straight up legit reviews from other boutique owners who purchase from these vendors that are on there. So um, anyway, so yeah, that's why I don't suggest Googling because Google will send you down a rabbit hole of some BS and a uh, headache. <laughs> so lastly, I want to talk about sizing because when purchasing from China, Sizing can be a problem. Not can be a problem. It is a problem. It is a big problem. So um, it's a problem for standard sizes, but it's really a problem for plus sizes. And so I want to give you an example. And again, this happens with standard sizes. Okay. A lot of the stuff is smaller than what we are used to here in the United States. Okay. So when you purchase from these websites, a lot of times it's not standard plus size sizing and you will buy something and it's way smaller than what you think. I've had a lot of women who've tried to purchase wholesale plus size clothes from these sites and when they get their stuff, it's really small. Okay, so, um, so first of all, let's look at this again. This is another story. Stole, stolen picture from the same man, manufacturer that I was talking about um, before. Uh, and so, like, I think that dress wholesale is like $21. But anyway, let's look at the sizing. So let's scroll down to their sizing chart. So these people say, let's just look at the hips. So they're saying the hips on a 6X, okay, is 120 centimeters. So here in the States, of course, we don't use centimeters, so we're going to have to convert. So they said 120 centimeters. 120 centimeters is 47.24 inches. Now, I pulled up a standard plus size chart from a plus size boutique, okay? Now, let's see what 47-inch hips are. 47-inch hips is the equivalent of a 2x yet on their website they're saying this is a 6x so right off the bat the sizing is drastically off that is a four size difference so what they're saying is a 6x is really a 2x and their 6x, 6x is as large as it goes. So if you were trying to service the plus size community, for example, normally at the very minimum, plus size boutiques carry up to a US size 3x, which is equivalent to a size 22 to 24. 
okay? That's a 3x, 2224. So, do you see how this could be a problem when you're trying to buy products and they are not showing you the pictures of the actual product that they have? The sizing is drastically off. Like, in the shipping price for this stuff is out of freaking control okay and then you gotta wait a long time if you want the cheaper rate on the shipping you're gonna be waiting two weeks to a month now what if you happen to find a product that people really like and they want you to restock it you gotta wait a month to get it two weeks to a month to get it that customer is gonna go somewhere else they're not waiting for you for that so um, this is a lot of the headache that a lot of people run into when they are starting their boutiques. They go to these Chinese websites. That's why I totally encourage you, please get your seller's permit because your you having your seller's permit is going to open up a whole new world of access for you. You will literally have access to over a thousand vendors. And I'm talking about not just when I say vendor, I'm not talking just about a wholesaler. I'm talking about actual manufacturers, the companies that manufacture the, the clothes for Fashion Nova, for Forever 21, for Pretty Little Thing. These are the manufacturers that these clo clothing companies work with for Rainbow and in places like that. So if you are wanting to get in that same arena, and have similar styles to them that have similar quality, you're going to want to gain access to the actual manufacturers, to the actual source uh, who makes these products. And again, they're right here in the U.S. Now, some of the vendors, they have a, uh, a whole, like they'll have a, um, a showroom in L.A. showing you what new products they have coming in. And they have a, they do have a factory in China. So they'll have a stuff made in China and they will import it here into the United States. So not all of them have uh, factories here in the U.S. But the whole thing is they have their, they have their showroom here in the United States. Their sizing is, is for U.S. sizing. So you don't have that same problem because they actually have a showroom here. People can walk into their showroom, see what new products they have on hand. You can see the size and you can feel the quality of the products, all of that kind of stuff. So um, that is, that's the benefit of dealing with the vendors that are on the U.S.-based wholesale sites versus trying to go over to China because you don't know who these people are, where they're getting their products from. At least here, the wholesale companies or the manufacturers here that have factories in China, you know who you're dealing with. If, if something is wrong with your product, there's, there's a place in the U S that you can go and you can deal with them directly. You can pick up the phone and call someone who's here right in LA that you can speak with about an issue with their product or the size of the product. Or if you have a question about the product, you can talk to them during regular U S based business hours. So that's why I always suggest for people to go with the U.S. based vendors as opposed to going to the Chinese vendors and all of that kind of stuff. It takes a little bit of work. It means you're going to have to fill out some paperwork to get a seller's permit in your state, but it's worth doing it because you're going to have access to much higher quality products in the long run. So um, that's pretty much everything. I hope that's been helpful. I hope that's provided you some clarity and will help to help you not make some of the mistakes that I've seen other people make that has cost them a lot of money in the long run. All right. Bye guys.